Hello wonderful world, Elaine here, and I am coming to you from Florida. So I am in Florida and I have been for a couple days now. I'm staying with my grandparents. It's been really great. I am fully vaccinated and have been for about a month and both of my grandparents are as well. So we're all good with that realm. But right now I'm about to go to Barnes and Noble with my grandma. And I'm really excited because this Barnes & Noble is two stories, it's got palm trees in the front, and it just looks amazing. So I definitely want to go there. However, I have to be careful with my book buying because I am flying home and getting books while keeping my suitcase light can be a little tricky. So I cannot buy a million books, but I think I can buy one or two, maybe three. That's probably pushing it because I brought three books with me already, but we'll figure it out. So I'm getting ready to go to Barnes & Noble and I figured I would vlog it since it is a new bookstore to me and it's cute and it looks cool. So yeah, let's go to Barnes & Noble. <laughs> escalator or I can't find a staircase so like do I walk up there's nothing blocking it off so I've just been doing laps around the bottom floor which has like Bibles and maps and stuff I mean there's romance but I really wanted to go to the young adult section but like do I just walk up the up escalator or random book called The Loneliest Girl in the Universe. I did not look up its Goodreads score. I didn't look up anything. I just read the back and it sounded interesting. So, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to stick with these two because I wasn't planning on getting a hardcover because hardcovers are heavy and hard to fit in my suitcase. But, um, I wanted, really wanted it. So I'm going to get these two. They're going to be light. They're going to fit on the airplane. And yeah, I'm going to go check out and probably get some Starbucks at their cafe now.
I am back from Barnes & Noble and that was one of the coolest Barnes & Nobles I've ever seen. They had so many shelves out with like recommendations. They had like different tables for so many different diverse identities and I don't know it was pretty cool. I ended up buying two books, one hardcover, one paperback. I was trying to only find paperbacks but I really wanted this book. I think I mentioned earlier that I started listening to the Hey YA podcast by Book Riot. It's on Spotify and they did an episode about standalone fantasy novels and it kind of put me in the mood to read one. So I got Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. First of all, look at this cover. Do y'all see this? Y'all see this, right? Beautiful. The back, stunning. This color, obsessed. What I know about this book from the podcast and just from reading it is that basically this witch commits a really bad magic sin and ends up getting exiled from her coven or her like land or whatever and she also is cursed with the inability to love so the only way she can get love is by like stealing it from others so then there is another character named ren who is a source which is a person who is made of magic basically and ren's father gets really sick because there was a plague created by a dark witch so she makes a promise with the first girl her name is tamsin saying that if tamsin can help her figure out who created the plague therefore she can undo it and save her father she will give tamsin the love that she feels for her father so tamsin will be able to love and ren will be able to save her father now i'm not quite sure if this is enemies to lovers but I'm pretty sure that this is an LGBTQ plus book. It has a queer romance. And it also says on the bottom, of course, love bargains are a tricky thing. And these two have a long perilous journey ahead of them. That is, if they don't kill each other first. That makes me feel like it's enemies to lovers. There's gonna be some angst, some fighting. I don't even know, but brusky, I am excited. The next book that I bought at Barnes and Noble is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. Um, I randomly saw this on the shelf and it was a thin paperback and I was like, hmm, bet that'll fit in my suitcase. So I picked it up and it actually sounds really cool. So basically it's about a girl who is alone in space and the only contact that she has is with her therapist who is back on Earth. But then NASA alerts her that another ship is coming towards her and she starts communicating with them and a friendship, maybe a little romance grows then she realizes that the person is not necessarily who she believed them to be. This is described as a mystery and a thriller set in space. It sounds really, really cool. I did look it up on Goodreads when I got back here and people were describing it as weird and terrifying and thrilling. And I'm pretty excited about that. I have not read anything like that in a really long time. I haven't read a thriller or anything a little scary. I don't know if this will be scary, but I'm assuming it's going to be like weird, dark space vibes. I haven't read a space book in so long, so I'm actually really excited about this. Those are the two books that I got, The Lonely Scroll in the Universe by Lauren James and Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. I am very excited about both of these. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. And I only bought two, so I achieved my goal. And yeah. Um, thank you guys for coming along with me to the Florida Barnes & Noble. It was a fun time. Oh, also, update on the escalators. I saw people walking up and down the broken escalators, so I'm assuming I could have just walked up them. But being who I am and having anxiety, I was just walking around the bottom until I could see someone going up it, but unfortunately I never saw anyone go up it, so I just took the elevator, which was also fine. But... I definitely could have just walked up the escalator. Now I'm gonna go read. Um, I am currently reading, I'll show you. Where did I put it? I've completely, have completely destroyed it. It's, don't you love that sound? Listen. Do you know what I mean? Like when paper gets wet and it crinkles. I don't know what it is about that sound, but I love it. Yeah, I'm reading Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I thought this would be a good beach read because it's a romance, it's cute, and I'm really liking it. I actually didn't know anything about it and I didn't know all the representation that it was gonna have. And if you don't know, this is a love story. It's a romance novel. And the main character, Chloe Brown, has chronic pain. 
and I've never ever read a book with someone who had chronic pain. I've never even really seen it in like a movie or TV show or anything. I didn't really know anything about it. I've heard of it, but reading this has really opened my eyes to a whole new world and has really made me question the things that I do as particularly with my job on campus. I help with event planning and marketing and this has definitely made me think about ways to be more inclusive within those realms, particularly when it comes to people with disabilities or chronic pain. So I am really loving this novel, not only for its cutesy romance, um, angsty kind of enemies to lovers feel, but also just because of all the representation and the thinking that it's making me do and like questioning the things that I've done in the past and how I can be more inclusive in the future. So if you were interested in a romance with hella good diversity and representation, I highly recommend this one. It's also British, which is fun. So yeah, and it's adorable. Look at the cover. So that's what I'm reading right now. I'm going to finish this and then I'll start one of these two. I also brought, shoot, what is that book called? Everybody's been reading it. It's a fantasy novel and it's romance and it's supposed to be steamy. It's like Blood and Ash or something. You guys know what I'm talking about? Well, I brought that with me too, so I might read that as well, but I've got about six days left, so we'll see how many books I can read in six days. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that wherever you are, you're doing oh so well. I will talk to you guys soon and have a wonderful rest of your day.